My family is enabling my addiction. Welcome to The Shed. I do appreciate you joining me today. Thank you. If you're a subscriber, thumbs up. If you're not, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, okay? And don't forget, ring the bell because YouTube doesn't do a very good job of notifying people anymore because I guess there's just so much stuff out there. So to be notified, ring the bell. Yeah, that's right. This year for Christmas, my family um, has definitely um, enabled my addiction. Flashlights. I got a Streamlight Stylus Pro USB and uh, it was from my dear wife and she knows that I love flashlights and uh, you know it came with the flashlight it came with a USB charging cable and it came with a little holster that you could stick on your on your belt and uh, before I go any further let's get to the specs overall length six inches it's got a 9 16th diameter it weighs in at one and three quarter ounces. You slide the front end back and there's the USB connector. It's also got an O-ring for O-ring sealing. It has a push button switch on the tailpiece. Toggle on, toggle off. Wax on, wax off. It has a very durable anodized aluminum housing. The included battery is good for up to 300 charges, after which it will only charge up to about 70% of maximum capacity, eventually giving out, but it is replaceable. When it comes time to replace the rechargeable battery, you just unscrew back here, and there it is. In bright mode, it's 300 lumens. In low mode, it's 90 lumens. Still pretty bright. In high mode, it'll last one hour and 30 minutes continuously. In low mode, it'll get up to three and a half hours. The drop test has been tested up to one meter. It does have an IPX4 rating. Yep, still works. It does have this handy clip comes with this great little holster that'll strap on to your belt. Actually, this is why I like my LA police gear pants. It's got a pouch that you can slip that in and it gets kind of buried in there. Lots of pockets. If you're interested in LA police gear, there's a link down below. Oh, well, there you go, folks. It is kind of the quintessential pen light uh, style flashlight and uh, kind of slender. It's it's nice, it's easily concealable. And um, before I go much further uh, about what I like and dislike about the thing, um, IP codes or ingress protection code, IP. Uh, I learned something, so I figured I'd pass it on to you. Um, but it's a, it's a protection code that was designed for consumer electronics or electrical devices. And uh, IP stands for ingress protection. And uh, in this case, it's an X4. An X means the first letter has something to do with particulate protection. And so it's not rated for that. Doesn't mean that, you know, if it gets in the dust or sand or something, it's not gonna, it's gonna fail. It just means that they didn't test it for that. So it's got an X. Uh, the four means it's water resistant. So no, you can't take a shower with it. Although I can't figure out why you would want to. Uh, but I guess, just know you can't take a shower with it. You can't submerse it. It does have O-rings, so uh, it does provide a bit of water resistance, and that's probably the best way to put it. So you can use it in the rain. Uh, it gets splashed on, wipe it off, it's gonna be fine. There are O-rings uh, right here where the, the port is for uh, the USB connection. And then on the back side here, there's a, uh, an o-ring seal back here so it's it's fairly well protected and yeah you can get splashed right around the other thing about this um, battery is that it is a proprietary battery you don't think that you could slip in a couple of uh, AAA's A's or something it doesn't work uh, there are a couple of things that I really appreciate about it and it's it it's just it's clicking on it's on 
click it off, it's off. Click it on again, it's in low power mode, click it off, it's off. It has no memory, so except that it remembers the last mode you were in. So if I click it on again, it's in low mode, and I gotta um, click it again to get it high. There is momentary on this switch, so you could click, let's see, uh, yeah, it's on. So you can do this all day. If I go rapid, it's, uh, it's always on high right now as I'm watching off screen here a little bit. If I turn it off for a moment and then turn it back on, it gets down to low. And then I can click it and it stays on low or high, depending on where you leave it. It doesn't have that flashy flashy, <laughs> which drives me crazy um, when I just want a flashlight that's either on or off. Okay, so it doesn't do the rapid flash thing to give you a, a I'm having a brain fart psychostropic fit. Let's put it that way. Uh, and I hate those things, to be honest with you. There's, for me, there's no need for it. Even if I'm shooting with it in a, in a self-protection mode, with that light flashing at, you know, two o'clock in the morning, and I turn that on to strobe effect to try to freak out my potential assailant, I'm going to get freaked out, and I'm not going to be able to aim... It's useless for me. If you have an argument that says, oh no, it's very valuable in this way, I'd like to learn a little bit about that. Speak intelligently, don't be a ding dong and just say, no, you're stupid and you know, don't do that. But um, leave a comment down below if you know why strobe effect is so important. I don't feel it is. Turn the stupid thing on, you know, that's enough to blind anybody. You don't need it to be strobing or causing confusion. It's gonna confuse. Um, I even forgot where I was. Oh, yeah, and no SOS, none of that. It's just click it on, it's on. Click it off, it's off. Wax on, wax off. If you want to go to high mode, you go temporary, you go, uh, and then it gets high, and then you click it, and now it's it's on. I like it. Simple flashlight, couple of modes, I get it. If you want it to last a long time, put it in low mode, and it'll last three and a half hours. If um, if you need it to be bright, just know that it's only going to last about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. The instructions say it's not very forgiving. So when the power is starting to drain, it's like it's on, and then uh, it'll it'll really knock down very low. And I haven't tried that, and maybe that's something I'll do, and then I'll let you guys know in the future how that kind of turns out. What else? Yeah, nice aluminum thing. Oh, the... Um, and it's durable. The pocket clip. Uh, it's okay. I've tried to get this thing off and it's on there, guys. And it's on there in the forward mode, which means if I want to clip it onto my bill of my hat, I'm going to effectively light my forehead. Yeah. You know, it's... So what you need to do is, like in this case... I got this hat and I can slide it in over here and there you go and I can turn this on oh it's kind of hard to turn on with just one hand there you go you gotta click and now it's you know how I would want to use it if I needed it as a as a headlight headlamp of some sort works pretty good this way um, but you do need something over here so that you can clip it onto it I I haven't uh, I haven't been able to get it off. I think I can, but I don't want to pry it off and mess up the finish. And then maybe flip it around and put it on this way. And that way, um, I might be able to clip it on this way, but it's so long, um, I'm going to bump it into my forehead no matter what. So I think this is this is probably this is probably the way it's going to have to be. Got to wear a hat like this. It's okay. I like this hat. If you like Australia things. Uh, yeah, it does not come with a wall wart, and that's okay. You know, I got plenty of wall warts around, and you can probably run down to the dollar store and pick up a one and a half or two amp wall wart for five bucks. And then, if you really needed to have one, uh, the other advantage is um, it can plug into your computer. That's okay. I, this doesn't stick around my computer; it sticks on me. So I do need a, a wall wart. Keep that in mind. Okay, for thirty-five bucks, that could have come with a five-dollar wall wart. Yeah, streamline, streamlight, streamline, streamlight. Shooting Kid loves streamlight. He's got a few. We've done some reviews on streamlight, and I will say they are very durable. And uh, they're going to last a long time. 
Well, did I forget anything? Tell me, what kind of flashlight do you have? And what kind of flashlight do you like? What do you use? How do you use your flashlight? Um, and how many flashlights do you have? I'm looking for affirmation of my addiction because I've got, I've got like hundreds of knives for all the reviews I've done on knives. And then I've got, I don't, I don't think I have a hundred flashlights, although I, I just might. <laughs> so, you know, uh, how do you use your flashlight or how would you find this to be useful? And yeah, I can't, um, there. Oh, actually, in a dark room, that might work pretty good. It'll light the way. Shall we, uh, shall we see how this works before we go in a darkened room? Let's try it. Okay, this is pretty representative of uh, the darkness that I'm experiencing inside my tool shed when all things are all turned off and all that. And I'm going hit to the, hit the light from right around the camera lens spot. And that's low power mode. It does a pretty good job of illuminating it. There you go, that's high power mode. And uh, it does brighten things up. It, it does illuminate quite well. It's got a narrow beam, uh, reasonably narrow in a small area like this. The, the tool sheds, uh, that's about 12 feet to the back area. Well, from my flashlight, it's about eight feet. And uh, it is kind of a narrow beam. I would imagine it's, uh, throws pretty far according to the instructions let's take a look at that this thing right here it's probably not very focused but uh, uh, 109 meters in uh, high mode which is what it's at now hmm. there you go that's pretty good and uh, certainly if you were looking around uh, in a darkened area and you hit this thing that's low power that's high power yeah, you can definitely, let me zoom in here. How about we zoom in? Yeah. That's all right. Low power, high power. Okay, we're outdoors. I've got the uh, flashlight on the, on my hat like we showed you on the inside there. Let's take a look and see. Of course, we woke up all the dogs, right? That's on high power. Not bad. Let's kick it down a notch. There you go. It's low power. Now again, the flack, the flickering you see is not um, happening with the flashlight. That's just because the camera is shooting at, I don't know, 50 frames, 60 frames per second. So when it's on full, it doesn't flicker. And it does light up the backyard pretty good. I like it. Great gift. Thank you, Shooting Gal. Do appreciate it. And I'll put a link down below where you can get yourself one of these if you're interested. Uh, the uh, the Amazon store affiliation that I have has, a, well, Streamlight has an Amazon store, and I'm affiliated with Amazon. So if you use that link, it'll help out our channel a lot. It won't cost you a penny more. Uh, it's all designed so that you can get the lowest cost possible through Amazon, and uh, it helps out those that are talking about stuff like this, like I am. I also have an affiliate with LA Police Gear, where not only you can get these snazzy pants, but you can also get Streamlight as well. So check out that link um, with LA Police Gear. And so I would greatly appreciate it. And by the way, if uh, you just go looking for this, uh, or you need anything else on Amazon, use my link please it helps us out over here it really does it helps pay the bills for doing videos like this thank you love you guys okay we'll catch up with you next time i've got some more christmas gifts i'm going to do a review on uh so hang tight okay make sure you subscribe i'll talk to you later god bless you god bless america may america bless god Oh, there you go. I'll just do that.